Hey, welcome to our experience room in Amsterdam where we can show you all demonstrations here with the Microsoft environment. So first of all, we got here a link client of Skype for Business client. We got here a Skype for Business client and we got here a Skype for Business client. So what I did here, just to demonstrate you how easy it is, I used here Outlook client and I created here a meeting invitation, as you can see, just a standard meeting invitation. I invite here all the rooms, so I got Amsterdam OS1, OS2 and OS3, I have Amsterdam room 1, this is the name of the room the video endpoint in this room and we got Amsterdam room 2 that is in the other room which are also invited here very simple so you invite just the rooms and you go to the meeting invite so during the meeting you go here to the invite and you just click join the meeting now this will launch the meeting make sure you mute because you're in the same environment meeting just started make sure you start the video okay so video is running now if we go to the video endpoint we see here that the invitation is now popping up on the screen but also here on the touch panel so if you look here on the new touch panel so you see also the invite popping up now let me join the meeting by pressing join this means the endpoint will now join the Skype for business meeting all right you see here my camera yep this is the camera from the machine right here so we got now the system here in the meeting so what we'll do, we're dragging in, for example, OS1, we're dragging in OS3, OS1 is right here on the left, make sure again, we'll mute, alright, we're going here to OS3, okay, again, make sure we're muting, you see all the participants coming in all right so what we see now in the room is we see that all the participants are added now so what you need to do is you go on the touch panel and you can set the different layouts because you will see that all the participants here are now part of the meeting so always one always two always three so we go here to layout control and we see that it's set now to active speaker so what we'll do we'll put the system for example into this mode which means if you now look at the screen it will get to this layout if you don't like this layout and you want to change it you go right here and you put for example this one using four squares optimal use of the screen and what you see now is you see all the squares are now fully filled fully filled on the left side so the nice thing i mean this is a native skype room system the group series natively integrated uh, the next thing of course which is very nice if you go back to the pc we use here the present button so we go to program we go to present a powerpoint all right and we use for example this powerpoint to share all right so let's make sure i make it full screen here so what happens is you see the content popping up here on the link client skype for business clients but more importantly you get it now here full screen on the system and again you can play here with the layout so if you want to set for example the participants layout to show them 
you put here the layout onto the four squares. And this means now you got all the participants here on the left side and you see your presentation here on the right side. I think this is, this is very powerful. So this is what I wanted to show you just to give you a quick impression with a couple of Skype for Business clients sharing content and joining with the group series just single join button uh, joining this Skype for Business meeting and that you can see all the participants.